Electric bicycles come in all shapes and sizes these days, but the motorcycle-style two-wheelers with large tires, retro headlights, and brat seats are undeniably the coolest-looking models out there. In today's episode, we'll be exploring the newest models within this family of Pedelecs, highlighting their major specifications and prices. Before we get to the lineup, subscribe to our channel and let's get technical. Juiced Bikes is a popular San Diego-based manufacturer already known for high-quality electric bicycles like Rip Current, Cross Current, and Scrambler. Their latest Indiegogo campaign is giving us yet another model named Scorpion. It's a pedelec with a step-through frame, a short seat, slick fat tires, and a round eye headlight. There are two versions of the bike, mainly differentiated by the power output of the rear-mounted Befang motor. The standard Scorpion makes 750 watt, while the Hyper Scorpion is rated at 1 kilowatt. Just like a legit motorcycle, this Juice model has a full suspension represented by a front fork with coil suspension and hydraulic lockout and a spring-loaded swing arm rear suspension. The first Super 73 bike was introduced to the market back in 2016, getting several revisions and limited editions since then. This year, the new R-Series of the two-wheeler makes its debut, offering two models to choose from, R and RX. Both get identical drivetrain setups featuring a DC hub motor peaking at 2,000 watts and a 960 kilowatt-hour battery with 75 miles of pedal assist range. If you choose to ride on throttle only, expect to reach about 20 miles per hour and cover around 40 miles. The top version is the RX, which gets the same features as the R but adds a fully adjustable suspension, powerful Tektro brakes, and an LED headlight. The seventh generation Monday motorbike is one of those models that does come with pedals, but makes sure that you can ride around without needing to use them much. The two wheeler is motivated by a 2.25 kilowatt hour removable battery and a 750 watt brushless motor. That's engaged by the twist of a throttle. By pushing just one button, you can switch between two performance modes, economy that allows for up to 100 miles of riding on a charge or sport that has a maximum speed of 45 miles per hour off-road. In addition, you get a sophisticated LED headlight with high and low beams, LCD dash, and hydraulic disc brakes, recuperating the kinetic energy to charge your battery on the go. Don't be fooled by its name. The Rough Cycles Lil Buddy is a regular size fat bike that towers over the competition due to the use of a high quality middle mounted Bosch motor rather than a wheel hub one. The production cycle is taking place in Europe, so the manufacturer insists on the higher reliability standards of their makes. Each frame is hand welded, 
Seats are made of genuine leather, while Bosch motors and batteries from Active and Performance CX lines will never let you down. With the Lil Buddy, your way is lit with the Supernova light set and Kenda 20 by 4 inch tires provide solid grip of the road. The Canadian Tempus Electric Bikes has been building electric bicycles for over five years now, with their current Titan model arriving in summer 2019. The bicycle has a large LED headlight, a skateboard seat, and artificial tank with dents for knees, borrowing its exterior features from classic cafe racers. The color LCD display tells time, speed, and battery performance, while the push-button start can be protected with a password. The base model is called Titan C, and it comes with a 500-watt rear hub motor which quickly reaches a top speed of 20 miles per hour and covers up to 30 miles of range. The Titan R gets a 100-watt motor and offers a 40% improvement in performance and range. Your feedback about this episode is absolutely crucial, so review the entire lineup and let us know what is your favorite entry in the comments below. Like this video and let's get back to awesome EVs. For some reason, till this day, no one has thought about creating an electric BMX bike. The arrival of the all-new UDX by the Berlin-based Urban Drive Style will fix this terrible oversight. Prices for the model kick off from 1,500 euros going up to two grand. Three battery sizes will give you 28 through 50 miles of range. You can additionally choose from between full suspension, suspension fork or rugged steel frame and five frame colors. The UDX gets a powerful 750 watt rear hub motor, but its maximum speed of 28 miles an hour is limited to 15 miles per hour in Europe. Advertised as a pedal-powered electric motorcycle, the E-Rocket has been under development since 2008, undergoing hundreds of modifications and real-world tests in the process. Though it can outrun many electric motorcycles, the manufacturer refuses to call its product an e-motorbike, and the reason is its pedals. The E-Rocket offers a unique muscle power multiplication mechanism, dubbed a human hybrid. Once you start pedaling, the pushing power is transferred to the mid-frame electric generator, which multiplies the kinetic energy and gives a potent thrust forward. Such a drive system, depending on conditions, can top at 55 miles per hour and deliver up to 75 miles of range.
Created by a team of experienced motorcycle engineers and designers, the Suru is an all-new e-bicycle model that reinterprets technology first implemented in the Amarok P1 electric superbike. It sits on all-aluminum monocoque fitted with a motorcycle suspension and 17-inch alloy wheels wrapped in knobby tires that are good enough for riding trails. Powered by a 500-watt e-motor and a removable underseat battery, the Suru is assembled in Canada, while 60% of its parts are also produced locally. The stylish bike is available in five design choices, and to meet your market regulations, it has an optional EU spec 250 watt or US set 750 watt motor. Thank you for visiting our channel, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later.